All right, so on another stop on our Spanish road trip, we stopped at this restaurant called Restaurant Serrano. I wasn't even gonna film this place, but I walked in and it is beautiful. I feel like Spain is littered with Michelin rated restaurants and just fancy restaurants for great values. But yeah, they have a lot of plaques and awards here. It's on the Michelin guide and it looks really cool in there. And apparently they are known for their mushrooms. They're at Boletas because there's posters all over and it was a must recommend here, Leon style mushrooms and yeah that's the promise we're in right now leon and i feel like every stop that we've been making on this trip it is obligatory to have a cool cathedral in the back and just beautiful and nice spanish architecture so let's uh check out the food here on one of our last road trip stops Apparently this place is known for their mushroom, their boletas, so there's like a bunch of posters of wild mushrooms around this region. It's pretty interesting. Of Lyon. So these are the mushrooms. Leonese mushrooms. Gracias. Alright, and a bread. Ooh, nice little starter for us, some bread, Spanish olive oil some tomatoes all right so this is the mushroom with foie gras right here it's mushroom with foie gras i can smell the fragrance coming out of here right away it's mixed with the foie gras so i guess you just got to have to take a big spoonful let's try it out all right so one this is one of their top dishes mushroom with foie gras kind of smells like asian style mushrooms kind of smells like soy sauce but let's try it out oh my god the texture That little piece of frog bob, it just melted in my mouth. Super savory rich. But this place is known for their Leon mushrooms, Boletas. This is like one of their top sellers and the mushroom is super soft. It kind of tastes like pan fried noodles, the consistency and texture of it. But you get more nutritional attributes from mushrooms instead of like just noodles. It's fire. EVW score. 9.3 out of 10 with the foie gras. Great combo. I believe this is the foie gras right here. Oh man, look at that. All right, another one of the top sellers, the croquettes here. Mushroom croquettes. They're known for their boletas here, their mushroom, so gotta get mushroom all over the place here. Man, that foie gras is amazing. Fatty duck liver, really soft, gelatiny, and then when you bite into it, it's like a salty pop. Can't get enough of that mushroom in for a while, but we got these um, mushroom boletas, croquettes. Croquettes is like a very common dish in Spain, but haven't had them with the mushrooms, and this area is known for their Leones boletas, mushrooms, so let's try this out. It's uh, piping hot, it just came out of the fryer, even in this little frying pan thing here. Definitely has a different fragrance right away when you bite into it because it's not meat in there. It's mushroom, you can even like smell the mushroom and take another bite. Mm. Mm, this one's super deep fried. It kind of reminds me of like a mozzarella stick, but on the inside it's super creamy and cheesy. Instead of like marinara, super creamy and cheesy. Yeah, instead of the stringy mozzarella, the cheese is actually the, bush, the bechamel sauce is really thick, voluminous like a lot of umph food. I don't honestly I don't taste too much mushroom in here but that sauce is pretty fire. Mm -hmm. It's piping hot too. I can see why the bechamel is really like thick and voluminous. There's a lot of like oomph to it. But as uh, Javi told me in the bechamel there's like flour, butter, say cheese, milk, milk so so it's like kind of fluffy on the inside. 
But yeah, DVW the score for these Coquettes, 8.7 out of 10. I like that they're really deep fried and crispy. Free fire. But oh, the main star of the show is the mushrooms. Really like the texture. Really firm, it like pops in your mouth. A little bit chewy. Also kind of hard, kind of similar to like bamboo shoots, but softer in like Asian cuisine. Really good, I really like those uh, mushrooms. Mm. That's that's the pork sirloin. All right, so I've been loving all of the pork and Iberico pork here in Spain. But this spot is known for their mushrooms, so I got the Iberico sirloin steak with mushroom sauce right here. Came with some papas for us. Looks amazing. So, a little bit of best of both worlds. The mushrooms from this restaurant and Iberico pork. Looks really delicious. Let's dig in. So we got this piece medium right here. Okay. I usually don't eat pork medium, but we asked the recommendation of how they should cook it. They told us medium. So when in Lyon, do as the Lyonnais do. Let's try it out. Dip in some of the mushroom sauce. Mm -hmm. Let's try out the a beer gold sirloin steak. Oh man much different than the roasted Iberico pork leg I had at the oldest restaurant, oldest running restaurant in Madrid. This one is a sirloin steak, so it is more lean, but it's pork, so it's still a little bit fatty, but there's a nice sear crisp on the outside, and the inside is really, really tender. It almost tastes like, um, it really does taste like a, like a steak, but with, um, but it's pork. It's really tender, delicious. You don't get like a little, a lot of that porky taste, like that, that odor from the pork, because it's uh, a beerical pork, and all the beerical pork here has been very quality. Let's try some of the boletas, mushrooms. Yeah. Leona's mushrooms. So, it's key here. The texture is just really great, nice, firm, and soft. Mm -hmm. There's like a nice, milky, creamy sauce to it, too. Really brings the dish together. And uh, all the fries in Spain, chips they call it. Really crunchy and fresh potatoes. Fire. DVW score for this dish. I give it like a, honestly, the rareness has kind of turned me off a little bit just because it's pork, but the taste, nine out of 10. Really good. Yeah guys, either Javi is finding very great restaurants or uh, we're just getting really lucky because most of the stops we're stopping on this road trip have been great. Just like A1, fine dining type food, but really good quality as well. I'm really glad we stumbled on this gem. It really is a gem for us because we weren't even planning to stop here at all. We were just gonna get like fast food or something. <laughs> oh, a staff saw me filming and he invited me into his back room, which is more chilly for more of their wine cellar. I have to drive later so I can't drink, but this place is supposed to have some really great wine and I swear every restaurant I've been in Spain has a wine cellar, guys. It's crazy. They're really about their Spanish wines here. I really like this uh, mushroom painting right here. This is truly a hidden gem we found here in Lyon. All right, we have a treat for you guys. We actually have the head chef of this restaurant here and uh, he's gonna introduce himself and tell us about his restaurant. Go ahead. Yes, uh, my name is Jesus. Eh, este es nuestro restaurante familiar, restaurante serrano en Astorga y aquí os esperamos a todos para comer esas croquetas y ese producto típico que tenemos aquí en la Maragatería. Yeah. Yeah. Tenemos it's muy buenas good. setas. The mushroom is the best. Yes. Mucho gusto, un saludo a todo el canal. <laughs> Encantado. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Encantado. You. Guys, restaurante serrano truly is a hidden gem. Great food here. I'm very glad I went here. Also, really cool city just like any other city we've been eating in Spain. The mushrooms were great here, the foie gras. Gotta try the mushrooms here. They're known for Lyon 
mushrooms. I call this the mushroom restaurant. It is dope. Definitely has a kind of like fancy high-end feeling, but without the pretentiousness. Yes, and um, I might not have caught in all their plaques on the walls, but Javi's telling me that their mushrooms are certified here, guys. They got the real deal shrooms over here. We also got to meet the chef. Everyone there that was serving us was very friendly as well. But yeah, DVW score, 8.9 out of 10. So on to our next spot.